Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. Today I have Guardian's abilities as fast as possible as well as my first thoughts and impressions. That said, let's dive right in. So Guardian is a tech champion with an attack of 2301, fairly low, a health of 29,874, and a PI of 10,630, placing him around 15th at the time of making this video. His passive is he has no natural crits, instead every time he would crit he deals a burst of shock damage which scales based on crit Rating. He can parry non-contact attacks, and while his ability accuracy is below 100% for 3 or more seconds, he inflicts a 15% of his attack shock per second. This cannot be affected by ability accuracy reduction. He starts each fight with an indefinite armor up buff, which if removed has a 14 second cooldown. He has a passive force field, which charges are indefinite up to the third charge. Uh, after that, charges 4 and above last for 16 seconds each. While an armor up is active, well-timed blocks against specials grant 100% perfect block over half a second. Each perfect block grants 2% of his max power. While an armor up is active, 15% chance per force field charge to auto block specials, plus an additional 15% flat versus mutants. This is considered a well-timed block and maxes out at 75%. He can consume one force field charge to block unblockable specials from mutants. On a light combo end, he consumes two force field charges to inflict a 20% of current power Power, power drain. His heavy attacks, the first hit consumes one force field charge to gain a 15 second armor up. His special one gives three force field charges and the last hit applies a six second taunt. His special two, the first hit consumes all of his force field charges, increasing this special's attack by 125% per force field charge consumed. If Guardian has three plus force field charges, consumes one armor up buff to inflict a shock dealing 250% attack over three seconds. This attack cannot be evaded by mutants. His special 3, he gains 6 indefinite force field charges and inflicts a 20 second shock to buff dealing 150% of his attack. His awakened ability gives him a uh, while he has an armor up buff, he gains block proficiency, energy resistance, up to 80% bleed resistance, and crit resistance. So that is Guardian's abilities overall. Kind of hard to say, because oftentimes I try to say Red Guardian, it's kind of a mistake. Um, that's okay, it is a different champion, don't be fooled. So as far as my first impressions go, this guy, you know, he looks like he could have really, really good damage, and that's nice and there's definitely a really good value to be had for a champion that can perfect block specials um maybe if you could somehow carry this guy all the way through abyss he might have potential on like the nameless collector being able to block specials allowing you to essentially survive through those um because perfect block would allow you to tank those specials much more sufficiently uh i just don't know if it would be worth it it is nice to have another champion with no crits. Uh, it just sucks that it's in the tech category. Like, we already have a tech champion who does no crits. We have a skill champion who does no crits. It would have been nice to get, say, maybe a mutant champion who does no crits. Or if there's one that exists, they're not coming to mind. So they must not be very strong to begin with. Um, that said, this guy, he looks like he's got some good potential. Uh, the auto block is a mechanic that a lot of people can counter. So even though he looks like he'll be a relative decent defender, auto block's not like the worst thing to deal with. Uh, overall, as long as you play true strike or you play around it, you just need to like place an armor break. So that's not the biggest deal. This is another form of shock damage, which is something we definitely need more of in the game because of nodes like Thunderstruck. Uh, so I like that as well. The rotation seems pretty simple. Um, you know, you build up to a special three and then you throw out like a special two if you want to get really big special two damage. Otherwise, just like special one, special two rotation of just like building up force field charges and throwing out a big special two is nice the special two has the potential to do an insane amount of damage we'll just kind of have to wait and see because uh, his attack rating is low at base uh, and then attack rating is interesting so I would think the special two is gonna do a ton of damage um, and that's like the big selling point here but I'm personally past the point of being impressed by big damage that just puts him on the radar uh, he does have a good amount of shock damage which is really really nice like I said for Thunderstruck um, that being like a super relevant thing um, but outside of like overall being tanky being probably relatively good with uh, attrition masteries except for the fact that he's a special one special two rotation champion so you are suffering from recoil a lot so it's probably not ideal to a degree uh, this guy looks 
interesting, right? Like, he has an armor up, so he'll be good for Havoc. Uh, he has relative power control, so you can play a bit more aggressively. Uh, he has decent tankiness, which is going to make him good for endgame content with the higher attack values. Uh, and he's got good damage, so I'd say he's going to have utility, you know, in the form of shock and uh, armor up, just kind of like the matchups where that's good and the nose where that comes up. But beyond that, I just don't see a ton of value for this guy. I think non-crit is really good for using him in war. Uh, so yeah, outside of I'd say war and like a handful of niche count situations, this guy, you know, uh, probably sits on your bench for the most part. But hey, he could be really, really cool. Let me know what you think. Uh, but as always, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.